Okay, this is just gonna be a real quick video about using the change instrument function in Notion to have a printable score. Um, and in fact, these notes and articulations aren't doing anything. They're not controlling anything. They're just for looks. So let's take a look how that works. Okay, so what I did is I set up a couple of examples. Let me hide these for now. Okay, these top two. I chose external MIDI. All right, and just did MIDI port A, channel one. I clicked on that, it gave me this one. And I went back and clicked on channel two, that gave me this one. All right, so I went in and just clicked on this and renamed them cello and whoops, excuse me, and violin. Okay, they're just, they're not pointing anywhere. They're just dummy tracks. Uh, we'll talk about this in a second. Okay, I also, just to show you, under Notion Instruments, I went to Basic Track. And these are just basic tracks. They don't point to any instruments, although they do play back a piano, like a cheap piano sound. But otherwise, they're not pointing to any particular instrument. All right, so that's how I created these two, treble and bass clef. So I went in, and so you can see basic, treble, clef, and I just renamed them. Okay, same for both of these. Okay, but these, what I did was, um, you can do this either way. Um, it's best just to go to basic, treble, clef, staff, and bass, clef, staff, because I'm doing violin and cello. You can also just go to their built-in sounds and then go up and change them. And I'll show you what I'm talking about in just a second. So I did a treble and a bass clef. So here they are. Then I clicked here, all right? And then you click on this plus button and then you create a noble, another treble clef staff. And when you do that, you get a staff that's attached to it basically. And you click here and you go to notation tab and you click on sequencer staff. And that sequencer staff is sitting um, below here. All right, so this is also uh, for moving these around. But that's not how you actually have them playback sound. We'll talk about that in a second. All right, so I did the same thing here create the bass clef staff. Doesn't really matter, actually. I'll show you why in a second. Made it a sequencer staff. Okay. So right now, um, we're seeing all of them. All right, so what I did is I entered the notes here and here or I could have done them here, here, it doesn't really matter. And I just copied and pasted the notes and the articulations, okay? All right, we'll come back to, we'll come back to this in just a second. So on these two, um, they're actually pointing to a contact instance, both the violin and the cello. And here they are in the mixer. Here's the two MIDI tracks, here's the two um, basic tracks, and then here are the contact tracks with the sequencer staff sitting next to it. And I've, I've muted the, uh, the two, these two just because I don't want to hear that piano. Okay. So let me show you about switching. Okay, so 
here are the violins, and I only need sustains and pizzicatos. So I'm going to, I'm on a Mac, so I'm going to command click, control click for PC. I'm going to command click the sustain, the longs. Go to by MIDI channel, activate, put it on channel one, make sure legato intervals only. That could have been a problem why you had a problem with switching not working. Um, pizzas are next, so I'm going to select it. Go to MIDI, activate it, go to MIDI channel two. Okay, so I have two uh, articulations selected. The others are um, purged. So same here, this is the same thing I did with the cellos. Okay, and the MIDI channel's on Omni. Okay, so now I have to point them. So these need to know what to do. They, they are pointing to these instances, but they need to know, these um, staffs here need to know um, at what instance to switch MIDI channels, because that's how I have these set up. Okay, so I'm gonna go to Shift-I, which is the change instrument dialog box. I'm going to show all instruments. I'm going to choose this violin, which is this violin. These two up here are these. All right. I need to show all instruments so I can see them all. And the channel I want is channel one. That's the sustain patch. And I'm just going to click right on the note. All right. I know it's going to come back here, so I need that there. All right. I need to go back to this one more time. And I need MIDI channel two because that's the pizzicato performance. All right. Then I need to put one instance here on the sequencer staff. So any MIDI information I enter here that I record on here, like MIDI, CC1, 11, 7, whatever, knows where to point that information. Okay, so I wrote this little tune and put articulations in and whatnot. So normally what we would see is this. And I can play it back. So this is printable, right? So this is what I'd end up printing, but this is what you would hear. Okay, so that's it. Hope that was helpful. And um, if you got any more questions, let me know.